Hey everyone, welcome back to the Cypress automation playlist. And now we are going to see how we can write our first test using the Cypress automation tool. Now the first step is to uh, get started with the end-to-end -end testing. And here we are going to choose a browser that we have already seen in the last uh, session. And here uh, we are going to now create a spec. Okay, so this is a spec file. Uh, it's like a template spec file which will be created and it will be added to the project. So let's go ahead and create this. Okay, so by default it is named as spec, but we are going to change this name to home page since we are going to write our test for the home page in our application. Okay, so we are going to create this uh, spec file. So it is in the format of TypeScript. So let's create the spec. And here Cypress will tell you that the spec was successfully added uh, at this particular location. And this is the content, okay? And now um, you can also run the spec. It is running on an example website, which Cypress has built. Okay, so it's not the actual website which we'll be testing. It is just a website which is called Kitchen Sink. And that's where your example test is running, okay? As soon as it runs, uh, Cypress will tell you whether it has passed or failed. And then in the test body, it will tell you what it is exactly doing, which is it is visiting this particular page, which is example.cypress.io, okay? But we don't want to test this particular page. Uh, we want to test our own application. So let's go back to our Visual Studio Code project and let's try to understand what this particular test is doing before we uh, change it for the actual application. Okay, so here um, I'm in my Cypress project folder uh, in Visual Studio Code. And here uh, we need to go into Cypress end to end and homepage.cy.ts, right? So this was the file which was created. So let's try and understand what this script means, okay? So internally Cypress uses the Mocha.js framework. Now we'll learn about uh, what is that framework and what are the features which is offered by that framework. But um, every time you write a test, it will be in the Mocha.js framework, okay? So we'll try to basically understand this lines which have been written here uh, briefly, and then we'll talk about it in more details in the coming up videos. So this, uh, it is a describe block, okay? And it is like a function which accepts two parameters. One is the description and the other is a callback function, okay? In this callback function, there is also a it block, okay? And this it block is the actual test which we are writing. So this is where we will write our actual test. As you can see, it is again a test function from the Mocha.js framework and it accepts uh, again a string called title and then another callback function and then which has got some overloaded parameters, right? So here uh, we'll be um, writing our test, okay? And this is what we are doing right now. Uh, we are visiting or opening that particular URL in Cypress, right? So uh, now that we have understood what it does, let's now change this, okay, into our actual website. So if you remember, um, our actual website was hosted on our local host, right? So we are going to change this to local host and then 3000. Okay, and now, um, as soon as I save this particular file, right? So let's go ahead and save this. So as soon as we save it, you will notice that Cypress in the background has already rerun my test, okay? And this time it is failing. Uh, there is an error that it is not able to load this particular page, okay? Now that is fine. Um, I did it purposefully. So let's see what is the mistake here. Uh, so instead of HTTP, I used HTTPS. Okay, so our local host is on HTTP. So now let's go ahead and save this again, right? So you can use the shortcut control S, but just to show you, I am going through the file menu and saving it. Now that the file is saved, now you will see that Cypress has again started rerunning your tests. 
and then uh, it is taking on the results okay so this is our first test passing right so here you can see uh, the result is called it is showing that it has passed and then in the test body you will see uh, it is showing that it is visiting this particular page okay and then um, it has also sent a get request and it has received a response from that particular website okay and uh, the page is displayed here so you can view your application right here and what your test is doing and uh, you can go through each step as well and that will be automatically highlighted on the application so this is something called the time traveling where you can travel through each step of your test right here and then you can also debug the problems you can see what the application is doing when you are running this particular test steps now that we understand the basic structure of a spec file and our test uh, and what it is doing let's write some more tests uh, in on this particular spec file right so right now it is just visiting a particular url but what if i want to verify something okay so for that uh, we are going to use the get method here from cypress okay and inside the get method we are going to pass the element which is h1 which will contain the header value so let's pass the h1 value here so uh, it will be basically getting the value from this particular element which is the h1 element so in most applications you will find that the h1 element will have uh, the header value okay so let's now save this file and let's see what cypress will do so i'm saving this file and going back to my cypress and you will see that it has executed both the commands uh, first is it visiting the website and then getting the header but till now it is not verifying anything so let's put that verification step as well in our test okay and for that uh, we are going to chain another command into this right uh, and we are going to use the contains command here inside this we are going to put some text right so this is the header value of this page and that's what i'm going to use in this right so first it is going to get uh, the value of the header and then it is going to pass it on to the next command which is the contains method here it is going to check whether uh, the value which we have got uh, it matches the text which we are passing here right and if it matches then it will pass if not it will fail so in cypress this is also known as the chaining of commands right so when you write one command after another on the same line then it is called the chaining of commands so which means you are passing the value from one command to another okay so let's go ahead and save this file now and let's go back to cypress again and here we will see all the steps are getting executed and our test has passed okay so until now everything is passing uh, it's a very simple test which we have written until now but this gives you a brief idea of how to get started with cypress writing your first test creating your spec file and then uh, creating your test within that spec file.